There's a very big you locked up inside and has a lot to do with what's going on in the world today. If you're going to read everything that's in the paper, if you're going to listen to everything you hear on the news, you're probably going to end up worrying. You're probably going to end up doubting, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? There's a lot of people maybe having financial problems right now. I would imagine most people in restaurants are. A lot of families. Now there is an answer. I'm going to show you what happens when you stay locked in on that polarity. You have taken a power that flows in that has no form. It's a creative power that's flowing into our consciousness and we're building a negative idea. Then we turn it over to our emotional mind. The subconscious mind has no ability to reject. It is totally immoral. It'll accept whatever you give. It's like the earth. The earth doesn't care what you plant, but it will grow what you plant. Your subconscious mind doesn't care what you plant, but it will grow what you plant. We have been given the responsibility of looking after ourself. Now, when you impress worry and doubt on your subconscious mind, you set up an emotional state we refer to as fear. It came into our consciousness, we had a choice, and we're worrying. And we take the worry and we turn it over to subconscious, we impress it upon the subconscious. Whatever's impressed must be expressed it expresses itself as anxiety. Now that anxiety is not expressed. We don't talk about it. You know what we do with anxiety? We suppress it, we bottle it up inside. Now when you bottle anxiety up in this instrument of yours, I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna have problems in your body. The body is not designed to contain that for any period of time. The suppression then turns to depression. When you keep it locked up, that's where depression comes from. The depression, causes a physical thing called dis-ease. It's a body that's not at ease. And the dis-ease, of course, causes disintegration. Now, why would a person do that? It's ignorance, it's not understanding the mind. It's not understanding themselves. Faith based on understanding is the key to freedom. What's the opposite of don't worry? The opposite of don't worry is understanding. How do you get understanding? There is only one way. And it's happening right now, we're studying right now, Study is the only way to develop understanding. Solomon was a very bright king. He said, in all you're getting, get understanding. Let's understand what's going on. Let's understand what happens to us when we focus on something as negative as what's going on in the world today. It doesn't mean we ignore it. It doesn't mean we say it's not there. That is silly. It is there. But we do know that if we cannot change it, what can we change? We can only change ourselves. In fact, you're the only the corner of the universe that you can change. So we gotta look after ourselves. Understanding leads to faith, which is the polar opposite of fear. Now think of this. Both faith and fear demand that you believe in something you can't see. You gotta have faith that there's a power within you. If you use your God-given faculties that you were blessed with, that separates you from all of the rest of the animal kingdom, if you use them the way they're designed to use, you can keep yourself in very good shape. Now that faith manifests in what we call well-being on the physical level. Remember where I said the anxiety suppressed? Well-being's not suppressed, well-being is expressed. And as you express it, and it's good, what happens? It accelerates. It accelerates. It grows. Why? Because you're in a creative state. You're at ease. Let it flow freely to and through you because you're at ease. And then you're creating. We want to create greater good in our life. That's really what we want to do. It is your choice. You can understand it and take control or you can let the problem control you. Now some people don't know that. They don't know that they have a choice. They honestly believe the world has given them a bad deal. Some of them blame God. God feeds every bird, but he won't put food in their nest. So think, really think. Here's this power. There's information. It's coming at us everywhere you look. And we have the ability to think. Let's say, I do not want to discuss this. I don't want to sit and dwell on it. I'm not going to ignore it but I do not want to just sit and read about it. I'd rather read something good. You have phenomenal powers. You have the ability to create the life that you really want. 
You can create the life you really want to live. How do you want to live? See, this is where we take our pen and write down exactly what we want to happen to us. How do we want to live? How do we want to think? What do we want to have going on inside? We can do it. I love Buckminster Fuller. He says, you never change things by fighting existing reality. You don't fight existing reality. Is you change things by building a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. So true. Make a decision. Make a committed decision of what you're gonna do with the rest of your life. We're only limited by weakness of attention and poverty of imagination. That's the only limit we've got. Weakness of attention. Give your attention to something that's going to cause you to move in the right direction.